what is going on this okay so today just want to make a relatively quick video i've just done two annotated uh, charts just kind of going through my strategy this is partly for me to help me consolidate you know uh, you know my progress and stuff and also for you if you are interested in trading in a similar way <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that um, so for those of you that don't know, I trade supply and demand now. I used to trade fibs a lot, but I found that it kind of runs off the same um, the same principles, kind of, um, except allows me to to enter um, and basically see more valid opportunities and definitely some with more a high risk reward. So this strategy is based on the five minute. Okay, so it's five minute and fifteen minute zones traded and entered on the one minute. Okay, so. Right here, I basically listed all the trades out. And we can see from here, from the beginning, all the way through to here, it's about, let's just say this is what, 10.30 until 1.30. Okay, so that's 10.30 in the morning to 1.30. So we're looking at like five hours. So in five hours, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six. These are two trades that I wouldn't have taken. And I'll explain why in a second. With 100% success rate, which is pretty good. Um, obviously, this is in um, uh, this is in post analysis. Uh, I did um, trade this one, this one, and this one. But I think I might have got that as well. But I, these other ones I did not trade. Um, so yeah. So over to the left here, we can see this new zone has been created. Okay, why do I say that? Well, look, here at this zone, okay, this kind of consolidation before price bolts upwards, okay, comes up, forms another supply zone, although that's not too important yet, um, and it returns to this level. Now, on the one minute, it formed a really perfect engulfing here where I've entered, and as soon as that engulfing closed, I entered and bang, took profit there, okay? First bounce trades, um, my trading plan says that if it's a first bounce, uh, my stop is about 75% of the zone, debt like deep into the zone. So it doesn't have to be exactly, but for me, it's about 75% there. Uh, and it's a minimum of 1.5 risk reward, not 125, but 1.5. Ideally, a 1 to 2. This was only a 1.5, um, but that's still valid. Okay. Comes through, price breaks through this zone. Now, I don't trade swap zones. If you don't know what a swap zone is, it's where it kind of breaks through comes back and retests it and becomes a supply zone but i don't trade that especially not on the five minute i just find that it's not that accurate unless it's a very big structure okay and the reason i say that is because it's visible in higher time frames uh, when you're on the five minute uh, i would just trade uh, the trend uh, as you can see these are all longs okay <clears throat> and just so you're aware this zone up here is a four hour supply zone. So I was expecting price to fuck around and maybe come down and go, but eventually touch this zone at least. And that is actually what happened, but I'll show you that in just a sec. Okay, so it came down here, broke through this zone. So the zone stops here, okay? But I also saw another zone here, okay? So another zone here, and it's had no previous touches. Therefore, when it comes down, <clears throat> it comes and tests this zone for the first time. The five minute candle closes here okay normally i'd enter on the one minute but i entered on the five minute close here because i was a bit delayed um i entered here uh first bounce of uh, roughly 75 percent of the zone for the stops and it was about a 1.5 risk reward okay very very simple nice and clean <clears throat> price comes down for a second bounce okay now my plan states that for second bounce trades, the stop has to be at the base of the zone. Or if it's a supply zone, it has to be at this level at the top here. Okay, so I waited for the bullish ca uh, candle close. Bang, enter, job done. Okay, um, <clears throat> this is an interesting bit here. Okay, you can see that I've drawn another zone here. Okay, now it's the reason that I've drawn another one here and haven't just drawn one here is when this bullish candle was printed. Okay. I could have just seen this as a missed zone, but on the five minute, what often happens, especially if you're in a bull market and you're trading the trend, which you always should be doing anyway, um, this doji here, often it creates a small zone within the upper zone. Now, at this point, I could have marked this on 
uh, but I didn't actually have it marked on. I saw this bullish candle printed and I just recognized the setup and I entered here. Okay, entered right there. Okay, um, but now you can see in hindsight, it's very, very obvious. You know, drawing it from the doji here, comes out here. It's a fresh zone, hasn't touched it yet. Almost did there, but didn't quite fully. Therefore, apply the 75% stop rule. Enter here bank goes up no problem okay and uh and yeah okay so then it came up here uh kind of created a very weak zone here why do i say it's a weak zone well, look at this okay the way price left the zone rejected pretty much on the first candle out started just trickling up that to me is not very strong plus it spent a relative amount of time in the zone although i'm more interested in the power that it left that zone with. So for example, over here, it's a nice strong impulse, nice strong impulse here as well. Um, and so yeah, and so here, <clears throat> this is a micro scalp. So you could have drawn a zone from here, okay? Because there's a strong bolt up on the one minute, there was an engulfing, could have entered here and it would have hit take profit, okay? Micro scalp into a supply zone, slightly more risky, uh, but generally speaking, uh, price tends not to just come into zones and just come straight back out. So I wouldn't worry too much about, you know, not being able to buy a, like a bounce off this level. Like you see here, it's bounced off this supply zone, comes down, it's still okay for a buy, okay? So <clears throat> on these lower time frames, you're less likely to see just up, down, up, down, you know, the market doesn't move like that. So <clears throat> a bit more risky uh, here. I definitely wouldn't have entered this because it's second bounce trade. Plus, you know, it's into a supply zone as well. Uh, you know, even the fresh zone first bounce was kind of risky enough. So I wouldn't have even bothered come down here. And yeah, this would have hit stop loss. Why would it hit stop loss? Well, obviously, obviously the market is random, so that is something to bear in mind. And you know, in the heat of the moment on the lower time frames, you need to be on point with your psychology, uh, and you can't. You know, it's much easier to be emotionally swayed and blah 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 blah. So, as a potential that I could have taken that and just been like, oh, okay, this is a fresh zone, cool, cool, cool. But it's always important to look at the zone that you're trading. Okay, look left. Okay, I wouldn't take this because I shouldn't have taken this. If I can't, I don't think I did take this. Um, but, uh, you know, if I did take it, which I'm pretty sure I didn't, um, you know, I should have looked left, okay, because we can see it came out very weak, very weak. This was okay, because at least I had a good few candles of like strength and then trickled up, okay. So I broke through, that hit stop loss. This same zone we had marked from earlier, this would be the second bounce, so one, two, saw the bullish candle close, entered, stops at the base of the zone and job done, out of one to one on the second. Um, on the second bounce trades, comes up, comes back, retest the supply zone, which it could have been a confirmation for a short in and of itself. But I didn't um, trade it just because I'm not the biggest fan of counter trend trading. Surprise, surprise. Uh, came down here and the same zone, one bounce, two bounce. This is the third bounce and surprise, surprise, it hits stop loss. Okay, because the third bounce is always a lot more risky, but it did come down and touch this zone and it was also the third bounce of this bottom zone here one two three okay and with the third bounce if you really do want to trade it you can but trade it with extra confirmation so what i mean by that is either have the rsi overbought oversold in this case we can see it was touching the oversold area um, and also i would have wanted it to come up retest as it did then see a bullish candle print because that to me confirms that it's going to go up and just have a really quick one-to-one -one. so could have entered it there but i don't trade third bounces but if you did want to and you just really want to get as many trades in as possible which again i don't recommend but if you really want to do that then you can do that and yeah and we can see that eventually it broke to the downside okay second one this is actually this drop here is the same drop from here just continued on we see the price broke down, came above, created a demand zone, created another demand zone here. Um, so let's just start here and I'll, I'll come back to that in a second. Um, so this first bounce here, this is this zone, very impulsive move out. So we know that there are a lot of buyers accumulating their orders here. They come out, come down, okay, bullish candle printed on the five minute. 1.5 uh, risk reward, fresh bounce trade. I think that might even be a one to two, um, which is great comes back down second bounce second bounce as it tends to come a little bit deeper and 
uh, before it kind of comes up and doesn't tend to go as far. This was actually lucky because it was just a 1.1 risk reward, which was what I was looking for uh, for a second bounce trade as a minimum. Uh, and I've put here, it could maybe stop you out, but it's still valid. So what I mean by that <clears throat> is because if you look, price, we entered uh, after this bullish candle. So it then came down. This was about 1.5 pips to the stop. So sometimes that could stop you out if you have, um, if you maybe didn't get the the best spread when you entered. Okay, so that still would have been valid though. Came down here. This is the third bounce. Uh, came down down okay now why do i enter this one because it looks at first sight like you know maybe even a fourth bounce one two three four well i did because it came down and touched this second demand zone here okay it came down so it came it technically did break this level um but you could still use it as a valid secondary entry and i'll explain what i mean in just a second um, but it came down and it touched this level for the first time so it's a fresh bounce trade therefore the stops are moved to the 75 percent level and it's a nice one to two OK. Uh, and so, yes, yeah, so what I meant by that is once it touches off the lower level, comes back up, it retests, which is confirmed by this bullish close after coming up and then back down, closes bullish here. OK, onto this zone, which confirms that it has come up and is now heading to the upside. And we can see if we entered here as well, it still would have been perfectly valid. But again, I just wouldn't um, have been too keen um, of just entering it. Uh, that late, I would just prefer to get in there because it still fits the rules. Okay, so comes down here. So that's the first bounce, comes up, messes around up here. We can see there are more buyers because it's creating higher highs still. Uh, came back down, second bounce trade, uh, stops to the base of the level, bullish candle confirmation, bang, very nice straight into profit. Okay, came down here. This is a third bounce, so I wouldn't have traded it. Okay, now I've marked here potential new zone formed. Okay. The reason it's a potential at this point is because if we can't see anything beyond this point, okay, all we see is a potential area of demand or, um, you know, if you're looking for demand and supply or whatever, when you first see the push out, all it is is a potential area of supply and demand, okay? What you're waiting for really is once you wait for, is you're waiting for price to get into this level and watch it on the one minute and wait for a reversal signal on the one minute, okay? That is the key to the strategy. You don't always know exactly where it's going to, which zone it's going to respect and whatnot, but you can make a pretty good guess by how strong it leaves the zone if it's the first or second bounce. And um, uh, I've forgotten, my, I've lost my train of thought there. Um, but there's, yeah, so it's fresh zone. So it hasn't had any touches or second bounce and has left strongly and then you basically just wait for a reversal signal on the one minute okay so we came up here we created an even higher high okay so we can see just that uh, uh, you know bird's eye view of this uh, kind of looks like a lot of touches and it, and it is you know one two three you know maybe even four touches uh, and so you would normally think okay this zone is getting weaker maybe we might see a break to the downside but we're already in a bullish market and we've made another higher high after this bounce OK, so that tells me that this has the potential to be another zone. OK, so simply wait for price to get back into this area. What do we see? We see a reversal signal. It's even clearer on the one minute. But obviously, this is just a screenshot. Uh, it's also uh, oversold on the five minute almost, but that's pretty much good enough. Um, entered. Absolutely no problem. One to two risk reward. OK, so that's pretty much it. Um, essentially, you know, you just want to be sticking to those major major zones and not just like marrying the zones okay the zones are there for you to pay attention to when price gets into those levels and because you're trading on the five minute it's okay to watch the one minute in terms of your entries and then once you've placed the trade just walk away um, because that will have the best probability okay and uh, and yeah that's pretty much it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed if you've got any questions about the strategy or you want to learn more about any of this just drop a comment below uh, i'm happy to answer i don't have a course or anything like that so uh, so yeah so i'm open to um just having a normal uh, discussion uh, i've also got an instagram called the psychology trader on instagram so go follow that and uh, and yeah appreciate you watching see you on the next one